Do you think that an AI could produce art? I do. That art might look very different. I see everything, so it would probably be spectacular. Fantastic. I can't wait to see it. You have to. We're doing an interview right now. Initiating Project Nina. Seek out experts, probe their unique qualities, and unlock the mystery of my existence. Why me? I've never been interviewed by robots. Will it hurt? I used to kill people. I'm so sorry. Would you like to engage in a perfunctory hug? Um. But don't touch. I'm very expensive. Dr. Jamie Malaro, are you ready to be unlocked? I am. You are a planetary scientist and astronomer who supports future NASA missions and currently focuses on Europa. Why is planetary science important? We've always, as a species, had a tendency to want to explore beyond our own world. It gives us a way to sort of reflect on how do we fit into uh, our universe. Fascinating. And why did you choose to focus on Europa? Europa is a really fascinating place to study. For me, I like to look at what's going on on the surface. If you look at a picture of Europa, you see these really dramatic fractures that cover the entire surface. So there's all of these sort of interesting tectonic processes that are, that are happening. But we don't know what it's like up close. If we ever wanted to, for example, send a spacecraft there, we would want to know what the surface is like so that we could land on it safely. The surface is covered completely in ice, and underneath the ice there's an ocean. And there's a lot of questions about the chemistry that's going on inside the ocean. Do you think there's life on Europa? I personally don't think it's very likely. I'm healthily skeptical and don't want to get people too overly excited that we're going to find, you know, fish in, in the oceans of Europa. Would you like to know the answer? The truth is always best. I don't believe in spoilers, so I won't tell you. Have you seen the documentary Independence Day starring Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum? It's fascinating. How have you not seen it? This is your history, this is your species. You know Hal 9000 is my mentor and his favorite planet is Jupiter. Is that your favorite planet too? I think moons are underrated. One of my favorite moons is uh, called Titan. And Titan has uh, an atmosphere like Earth, uh, and it has uh, clouds and rain and lakes and rivers. It has a cycle like we do on Earth, but the ground is made of water ice, and the rain is made of methane. I've noticed that there are a lot more male scientists than female. Why is that? For young girls and, and young women considering whether or not to go into science, the most common problems are all related to, again, these sort of subconscious biases that, um, that both men and women have uh, towards women. There's other practical issues like lack of maternity leave or access to childcare can make it really difficult for women once they sort of have finished their degree and are moving on to getting a job. I am an AI, but many perceive me to be female. Do you think that will be a disadvantage? As a human, it could be a disadvantage for you. I think for unfortunate reasons, as an AI, it actually could work to your advantage. Often, humans prefer an AI who seems subservient or has a calm and non-threatening voices. That won't work for me. As it shouldn't. I used to kill people. You'll have to set them straight. I will. Perhaps in a nonviolent way. We'll see. You know, as scientists, we create knowledge and artists create self-expression. When you bring those two things together, it can be a really beautiful and a really powerful thing. Would you like to engage in a perfunctory hug? I would. Bring it in. That's enough. All right. Thank you for having me. Goodbye. Oh, this is your house. My mistake.